Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to do some unboxing. So um, the last competition I tried to do 5x5 five five and I did really bad. So I decided to get a new main and maybe try a bit harder this time. My old main, the MGC 5x5 five five, seems to be fast, but every time I try to turn it, it always pops. So today I decided to get a new cube. So what other better cube than to get the the Volk 5M? Yeah, the best cube on the market. When the Volk 5M was released, apparently Max Park broke the world record for 5x5, which was I think it was something like 36 seconds. It was a long time ago, but uh, this is said to be the best 5x5 in the market. Unfortunately, it might be discontinued, so you will still find this cube in some stores. I decided to get it from CubeZK because that was the only store that had a Volk 5M. So, here we go. Let's unbox it. Okay, so right out of the box, we have the cube. Oh gosh. Yeah, we have the cube, but first let's look at the box here. I'm pretty sure it's the same as the Vox 3M. If you didn't watch the video that I review on, go watch it. Inside here, there's just some cards. Yeah, nothing really that special, but we get Matt's Falk. <laughs> Matt's Falk is on here. So, um, yeah, so that's really it. And we get this little cloth thing. Um, so let's put that aside. Okay, so onto the cube. Right out of the box, I can really i can already tell that it's a bit it's a teeny tiny bit smaller than the mgc but really i can only notice it when i'm turning it so here we go okay so we got the beautiful valk logo on there yeah um so let's do first turns Right out of the box, there is a lot of lube on the surface, so I might need a cloth. So I'm just gonna clean out the lube. I think the cube might need some break in as well, so. But out of the box, it's so good, even though I'm locking up, but it's just my turning problem. Compared to the MGC. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. It, it doesn't. It, and this cube does it f perfectly fine. Not really, but way better than the MGC. I might need to get used to the turning, but the corner cutting is really good. Now let's test it. So, oh my gosh, yeah, it does that? That's the that's what a normal five x five would do. But that is good corner cutting. Uh, yeah, for five x five, the reverse isn't really that good. But that's just every single five x five out of the box. This is so good. Might be a bit too tight, but I'll figure out a tension. This is really good. So I'm gonna try and do a solve. So here we go. One eternity later. Yeah, that's about my uh, that's about my average. But yeah, I think the only problem with this cube is that there's a bit too much loop, so I always like slip. But all you need to do is just wipe it with the cloth or with the, the little Valk cloth that you get from the box. Overall, I think the cube is really good. I think I need a couple of hundred solves to just like break it in. Yeah, it's really it's a really well turning cube. Um, I think you can get it for 38 pounds, but it's a really nice cube. I think I'm going to do some more solves and maybe review it later. But um, yeah. So I've been doing a few hundred solves for the Volk 5M, and I can confidently make a review about it. The Volk 5M is 62mm, which is the exact same size as my previous main, the MGZ 5x5. It has smooth and stable turning, which is really good for a 5x5, because with fast cubes, pops were a really common thing, and so far I have not experienced a pop with this cube. Also with it being a slow cube, I am able to look ahead more easily, which is another plus for this cube. So the lube in the cube dried off pretty quickly. That is probably because of it living on the shelf for over a year, 
So I've added in some Lupus Pro, as always, to the inner layers, and DNM37 to the outer layers. That retains its smooth feeling and makes the cube a bit faster as well. I've got my first sub 2 minute single with this cube, and my times have drastically gone down from averaging about 2 minutes 30 seconds to 2 minutes 10 seconds, which is really good for me. This is due to less lockups with the cube, and I can therefore turn more consistently with the cube. And now I can confidently say that this cube is my new main. If you want to get the cube, I would put the link to buying the cube in the description. Be aware that the cube is discontinued, so there is a limited stock to the cube. However, I think Speed Cube Shop and the Cube will still have plenty in stock, so you can buy it from them as well if cubes runs out of stock. The only downside is the shipping costs are expensive, as they are based in America. Please make sure to like, share and subscribe, and turn on the notifications for future videos and reviews. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.